Well, the labels say made with real fruit, with the packaging on many popular snack foods showing pictures of plump fruit and berries. But in many cases, it's simply fruit flavouring. And as David Richardson reports, time poor shoppers are being fooled. It's definitely a game. It's a game that's played all the time. It seems healthy, it appears healthy, so we take it off the shelf and we don't think about it. Lies, trickery or a marketing loophole. In every supermarket aisle in Australia, dozens of everyday treats and snacks covered with bright colourful images of fresh fruit matched with equally bold statements like made with real fruit. They're supposedly giving us a no junk promise. I think it's very misleading. Now time poor new mums are the new targets. So called health food for babies and toddlers claiming real goodness and real fruit but not delivering by a long shot. You see so many bright colours of fruit, you know, oranges, bananas, you know, apples on fruit packaging and you'd think there'd be some real fruit in there. Well, there's not any fruit anywhere near it. Today, tonight, bought a random sample of baby and toddler food, all displaying colourful images of fruit inside from all three big supermarket players. Nutritionist Matt O'Neill examined the content labels and discovered the truth. It says made with real fruit on it. Uh, it even says encourages self-feeding. For this one's for toddlers here, it's got less than half a blueberry in this as well. That's next to nothing. So this is just like a blueberry flavour. He checked over our products and he wasn't happy with what he found. This product here, your organics uh, finger food, um, there's even more fruit on the outside here. But you do the numbers and there's only about a teaspoon and a half of fruit in this product. So what's really in these products, whether they're bars or baby snacks? It all comes down to the language on the label. Fruit juice concentrate is where the whole fruit juice has been dehydrated and concentrated it into a lower volume. It's put into a lot of foods and counted as fruit. It's concentrated, but it's not the same as real fruit. And fruit flavouring? It is the flavour of fruit, exactly what it sounds like. You're not actually getting any real fruit. It might even say it's natural flavouring, which means it doesn't have any like toxic chemicals. And don't expect these fruit fakes to contain the nutrients of real fruit. And strawberry with yoghurt for kidneys. Um, there's only about a gram of fruit in here. So we're getting really, really low now. It's not even worth mentioning, and that raises a real issue as to whether it's appropriate to put brightly coloured fruit on the packet of labels, particularly targeted at toddlers. So they want to make sure that their product is enticing, it's appealing. Richard Sawman has worked for some of the world's biggest brands. The brand guy, as he's called, says companies are under pressure to sell and will go to any lengths to get them off the shelf, even twisting the truth. So technically, it's correct. Technically, it's not misleading, but, you know, is that really what you expect? Thank you. You're welcome. Mum of one, Naomi Barber, hasn't been fooled. She's banned these products from her trolley since her son Joey started eating solids, only buying fresh produce. We try and make sure that he's got easy access to fruits and vegetables. She's also created a blog to help other mums make informed choices when shopping for their kids because the labels are still confusing. Some ingredients lists can be 15, 16, 17 items long. Look at the ingredients list and if there isn't real fruit listed, leave it on the shelf. Mm -hmm.